Hello YouTubers, this video is all about customising the PP700W and it's also a little bit about um, 3D printing because um, what happened, someone contacted me and they wanted me to print one of them for them and uh, after our previous video we've done. done it so um, this video is all about what happens from here on in I have printed it, I'm going to show it on camera to the customer as it were and um, yeah, let's see what happens Okay, so um, as I said in the intro, this is uh, the PP700W, Daz's personal gun, we've done several videos on it. So I printed this uh, bottom handguard, Daz said can you do me like a handguard thing. I, I added on a, a Picatinny rail on the front and I also added on this, um, this is a separate part, it's like a barrel cover. Uh, so we've done all that and um, one of our viewers liked it, got in touch with me, said can I print one for him in black. And could I also do a torch holder? Because um, in the other video, I ain't on, on this one right now, but um, I've done that as a torch holder. I asked for the measurements of the torch holder. Uh, we got in touch by email, and I said, okay, what I'll do, I'll print it out, I'll make a video on it, show you the parts. Because a lot of people have got misconceptions about 3D printing. Um, everything isn't perfect, there are problems, and some of that stuff I'll go into as I'll show you the parts. Well, the main and you have to deal on some parts. Yeah, I, I had to so. hand finish. Um, I sprayed it. That's a matte material I used for the for the black one I've done, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I had to file some parts to get them to fit. It was quite a bit of hand finishing. Then I sprayed it with a clear lager because PLA material is what they call hygroscopic. So over time, this could absorb moisture. So what I've done is sprayed it with this spray, assuming you're going to go out with your gun hunting. Even if you're not, that's a good idea to keep the moisture out. So I sprayed it with this clear lag. I say a lot of work. Now the guy Matt, who's who, who who's ordered it as such, I say there's no obligation. I'm going to show him the parts now on camera. We'll fit it up to Darren's gun, and I haven't even tried fitting it yet. So if it don't fit, I wouldn't sell it anyway. And um, if it does, if the guy's happy with the quality, uh, we'll take it from there. So um, I don't want to get in too much detail. People who've done 3D printing will know what I'm talking about when I talk about layer height and, and, and materials and temperatures and print speeds. There's a lot of variables involved. Um, but so for example, um, this finish on this one here, what I will say off is the material was a bit more expensive than normal. That's a top quality material. Um, not to say that the other material um, I've used for the black one isn't. Uh, but this was printed at a 0.2 layer height. So, um, and again, a lot of people don't understand. And even like the 3D printer guys who are right into it and got big channels, they don't talk much about how much time these things take to print. And, and you know, that can be off-putting when you find something really nice you want to print and realize it's going to take three days or something silly. You must have done that, Daz. Oh, you know, print off, yeah. Wow, that's impressive, mate. So I bought multiple printers. So if I want to make several projects, that you can cut the time down. So the key to 3D printing is have, have more than one printer if you, because they're so cheap now. Um, just having two machines, you can get things done twice as quick. So anyway, I'm diverting. Um, basically for people who are into 3D printing. If you're not and just like the products, that might help you understand that there's a lot of variables involved. You're not always going to get a perfect product. And the amount of time involved is um, is crazy. So what I'll do, I've been withholding all this time. I think uh, Matt is probably getting a bit frustrated by now. He's saying, get my, get my, yeah, get my fucking parts out of what I see and what they're going to look like. Now, I, I've come up with a price for Matt and that's a special price, I would say, Oh, so that's about right, um, and I'll explain that as I go along. Um, so here we go. Oh, and another thing with black that shows imperfections a lot more than any yeah. other colour. Yeah. Now, also, this material was a matte material, and I've sprayed it with a gloss um, sealing coat. Um, so lacquer, a gloss lacquer. So here we go. I've got the parts out on the table, um, on the other camera, I'll, I'll show them on there. Well you um, lacquered the torch holder so you can see the difference. I have, the, yeah I have. have, only one layer though, oh, these okay, had probably two or three layers, nice. yeah this has just had one quick layer. Show you the, first of all the torch holder, now, what I would say about this, I didn't design this, this came straight off uh, someone else, I did adjust it and put this hole in the side where Unfortunately, I didn't have a bolt to fit, but this is a good fit anyway, and I had to file it to fit and all the rest. And again, with 3D printing, there is quite a bit of hand finishing involved because 
getting everything to fit perfectly um, isn't always the easiest thing to do. All of these things were printed apart from this because I printed one of these at a 0.28 layer height uh, and the bigger the layer height obviously the, the, the less the quality and detail is so so another way um, to get 3D printing done quicker is to get a bigger nozzle size so the standard nozzle is 0.4 so I've, I've got a 0.6 nozzle I'm printing this at a 0.28 layer height well the first one I did on this particular part and it broke uh, so I've done it on a 0.2 layer height in the end that took about three hours at the 0.2 layer height uh, three and three hours, twenty minutes. Uh, again, you know, you could get near the end, and that could tip over. This slot stringing. here, stringing. I had to get out with a knife. I had to sand it. And I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest, Daz and Matt. I will say halfway through, I thought, I don't know if I want to be doing this. Is it <laughs> worth it? all the? Because I'm a perfectionist. All the hassle and pressure delivering something when you say to someone. So that's why I thought if this is successful, if Matt like it and he buy it and says all right, I might just pre-print some that I might be with, put them on my Etsy, then I ain't got to worry about all the time constraints. Um, and I've done this within the week, really, so I do work as well. I have got a job. Um, people think you just bung it in a printer and that come out half hour later. This whole project, probably seven and a half hours of printing, three and a half, seven and a half, eight, that's just 11 hours of printing, that was an hour and a half. I had to set it up, I had to do hand finishing, that's crazy. It's basically slave labour. So I'm not, <laughs> you know. I think they do, mate. I think they do, mate. So I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm just having a laugh, Matt. But I would say you're getting good value. Yes, it's not perfect. If you knew anything about 3D printer, I think you would be perfectly happy. If you wanted to get yourself a 3D printer, anyone out there, I will sell you the file for a couple of quid. Um, email it to you. Because I, I did design this and this. So, you know, that's a skill and a value. So for a couple of quid, if you want to print it yourself and do what I design it or you can't, I'll, that's what I'll do. Let's so, shoot, let's get to the fitting. I'll be honest. Because you've waffled. I have, I have, I have. I have got to, I've got to get my money's worth out of the videos, mate. So I'm going to have to take the silencer off. Yeah. Does that pretty much hold it all on? I don't know. Um, Just remember that's my one, don't you? Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> mate. I know. Mine's in the other shed, mate. Don't worry. Now, I know... Um, I don't know if Matt has got this and got all the suppressor and everything. I don't know. Um, and Daz, oh, that come off fairly yeah, easy then. That's been on and off a few times. times, right? Now, what I would say, obviously, this bit. So this bit on this particular gun, man, there is a slight lip there, and you can see the paint can get damaged on your on your on your barrel. But this bottom bit is normally all right because that yeah. bit is a bit wide, and that take all the sort of scuffy bits out on the inside. Shit. That's what you want because that's the thicker metal. That yeah, tube is yeah, not. Yeah. You don't want to be scuffing. Yeah, and the cut out in the and the cut out in there is designed so it don't force your barrel apart yeah. from this bit, which would affect the accuracy. Well, no. My concern, um, it? Yeah. Because so, that was an accurate pistol. I didn't yeah. want to kick the. Yeah. The accuracy of. Now this sort of ringy bit is a is a fill-in bit because I, when I first designed it, I'd done that. I'd done it too short, and so I explained to Matt that I would um, print that into the part all in one piece so that's that's how the gun looked naked as it were uh, and I must say that that plastic shroud and stuff did improve it considerably okay so this is a moment of truth now what I would say you must put this bit on first um, otherwise it's, that's quite a struggle and this bit you could break it if you got hold of the end and sort of you know were too rough with it so I would say be gentle and actually straight away that's fitting on nice and oh wow and I would say pull it on don't get hold of that bit because if you Bend it to the side, it's got snap. Wow, that fit on lovely. Wow. Oh, it's looking good, Matt. That's the first part. It's looking good. Where's this part going to be as good? Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. That's not quite. It's not quite on all the way. Right. Oh, there, there we go. Is it? Yeah, more or less. It's more or less lined up. Um, that's lined up with that. I think with a little tap that would probably yeah I mean out of water oh, yeah there we go there we go look probably at that not getting it off so we can sell it to you now um so oh, I must say that looked nice why wouldn't you want it all I would say to Matt um I'd be happy with this if you I'd say get a can of spray or something even if you if that's black even um and if you have got the silencer what I would say that is gonna only do it up until I just grip there because if you do it all the way down to the end of the thread and that 
the end of the shroud is a slightly protruding on the plastic. Well, we won't do it on this one, but I suggest if you're doing it on yours, well, I'm just going to turn break that it down because then that will fit to your gun. Yeah, but we know it's on yours, Dad. When we've done that, that squished this end bit down here into, and and but I'm not going to. Matt might not even have a silencer. Um, On this one, that's made the slightest indentation. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Fits perfectly what, time. what I would say is perhaps sand that down, uh, sand this bit well, down you generally. Run it, that setup. Yeah. You but know what you're run, how yeah. you're running it. But if you haven't got that, now this is all firm on there. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not easily pulled off. And again, to take it off, obviously you're going to have to do this to fill it up. No, you you have to put your foot on yours, do you? Have to give it the foot job. I'll put it on the edge of the table. There we go. So I'll just grip that on the edge of the table, pull it towards me, and that's come off. But after you've done that a few times, that will get easier. And this bit should come off, doddle. But why you'd want to take it off, I, I don't know. Obviously, I've got to take this one off to send it away, hopefully. Um, so let's just show, again, I'll show Matt the full skaboosh. Give him a guide at all. Fully undo those two bolts. Get your torch in. Uh, I mean, that might grip it tight enough. You don't need the bolts. That probably would. But I would say, just in case, put the bolts in, but don't do it up too tight. So let's. Uh, now this will go on either way. But I so saw I had to file it and stuff to get it on the fit, and you, that probably will go on easier one way than the other. You can arrow tight it as well. Yeah, that is quite tight, and there was a couple of times I had to tap it off uh, very gently. So there you go. That's the the finished shroud barrel cover. Hand grip and torch attachment. Yeah, finished product. Um, I like it. That feel good. I feel a little bit sticky. I think that gloss finish should. I think I'd be happier if that was matte. Because like if you're out hunting, you don't want the sunlight reflecting off it. That's why you know I thought matte black was good. So yeah, um, the main reason I sprayed it is because this material is hygroscopic, can absorb moisture. So uh, matte. If you go ahead and do the purchase, mate, I think you got a bargain. Um, not a bargain, I think you paid a fair price, I've done it, so I put a lot of work into it, uh, fits the tree, and I uh, hope you like it if you purchase it, and um, I will do some more in different colours, um, which I'm happy, ready to sell, and do them in a better quality, and if they go wrong, I'm not under pressure. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, um, if you've got PP700W, this is also called, what's the other brand, Daz? Zazstar. It's a Zazstar, uh, the... Oh, Artemis or Artemis, whatever you want to call it, yeah. Oh, I didn't put your thing on. Oh, you didn't put my ring on. Ugh, I didn't put your little fill in ring. Daz is quite. Sure that's the right way yeah, I know, I know. You'll see deal kick in. That's yeah. why I done it like that. I was aware. So, Daz has got a unique one with the little fill in clip. Uh, got the ring of destiny on it. Um, I'm happy with it. I hope. Matt, if you don't like it or you want to wait for one of the Etsy ones that could be weeks, could be months, like I say, I'll do that on my own time because I don't like the pressure of working to a time scale. So if you if you want it, Matt, um, thank you. Like I say, I think that's a fair price for the time I put into it. And um, anyone else who's, who want one, yeah, email me fine, but in my own time, I am going to put some on Etsy. So if you want a pre reserve one or whatever, great. If not, I'll put a couple on there, different colours. And. Uh, Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon, Matt. Either way, take care. See you next time.